Okay, today we're going to be showing you how to gain access to the uh, internal components of the uh, RA60TB unit. And as you can see, uh, we've already went ahead and uh, removed the filters. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch our uh, how to remove uh, the uh, magnet, uh, magnetic style filters. So now that we got those off, uh, next thing we're going to want to do is uh, make sure that we have the power cut off to the unit as we're going to be exposed to uh, a lot of the uh, wires on the, uh, uh, on the internal components to so make sure that the power is cut off just to avoid any, uh, any injury. Once, that's, once we make sure there's no power, then we can uh, continue. So the first things first is uh, 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 the filters off. Next step is to go ahead and uh, get these side panels out. Now there's two side panels on each side and they're actually being held in place by two screws. One at the bottom, one at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and get these two screws out and then uh, and same goes for the other side and then uh, take off the side panels. Okay, now that we have both screws out, we can go ahead and, uh, and take off the side panels. You can see I've already taken off the uh, right one. I'm going to go ahead and take off the left one. Uh, you can actually just grab it from the side on the inner part right here and give it a nice turn to the outside. As you can see, we can go ahead and uh, set this aside. Next step, we're actually going to want to go ahead and remove uh, this bottom panel. And uh, we're going to do so by uh, removing uh, two screws, the uh, two ones from the outer side. We're not going to worry about the ones in the middle. Uh, we're only going to be worried uh, worry about the ones that are actually here on the uh, frame itself. So that's one, and then two on the other side. Right here. Okay, as you can see, we actually have uh, both uh, screws out. And now we're actually going to go be able to uh, grab onto the back of this right here, and then slide it out. So it's going to slide right down. Make sure you have a nice grip on it so it doesn't fall and hurt you. And uh, we'll go ahead and set it down. As you can see now, we have gained access to all the internal components. Okay, in this step, we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the uh, capacitor on the uh, RA60TB range hood. And as you can see, we've already gained access to all of the internals. Um, and uh, we're going to locate the uh, capacitor, which is uh, this uh, black uh, box right here. And as you can see, there's only uh, one screw holding this in place to the actual mount and one connector. So simply, we're just going to go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the one going to the actual capacitor and now the uh, capacitor is ready to be replaced. We're just going to go ahead and get the screw out, uh, remove it, place on the new one, reinstall that screw, go ahead and follow the same connection that we just took off, reconnect it and you're good to go.